Welcome again to my model evaluation tutorials. I'm still covering classification model evaluation and in this video I'm going to explain to you what a KS chart is or what is the Kolmogorov Smirnov chart. Now the KS chart or Kolmogorov Smirnov, Smirnov chart it measures the performance of classification models specifically it's a measure of the degree of separation between the positive and negative distributions so notice we have positive and negative distributions so we for example we have a, a model for example for applications for maybe a, a university place or for anything and we want to see uh, good and bad applications so positive and negative sort of applications the one that we target and the one that we do not target the, tar the one we target are the positive ones the ones we don't target are the negative ones. Now the KS has actually a value, it's 100 if the scores partition the population into two separate groups in which one group contains all the positives and the other contains all the negatives. So if we can just uh, uh, clearly separate the two groups into one which has all the positives, the other one has all the, the positives, i.e. there's no overlap, then the, the KS is 100. On the other hand, if the model cannot differentiate between positives and negatives, then it will, would be selecting randomly from the population, though, so the KS value will be 0. Now, in most classification models, the KS will usually betwe be between 0 and 100, and that the higher the value, the greater the model is at separating the positive from the negative cases. So basically, we want the KS value uh, to be you know, as much close to 100 as possible. I'll show you an example and these things hopefully will make sense. So a little bit more on this, that it measures the distance between the plotted cumulative distribution functions of the two classifications, i.e. Uh, good or bad, target or non-target, yes or no, positive or negative. Notice here, what we do is we plot cumulative distribution functions of both classes here yeah, of both the uh, positive and negative ones so we compute the cumulative distributions and then we plot them both and then we find the distance between them each classification score can be transformed to lie between 0 and 1 so usually we have scores or ranges of scores to each classification and then we draw them and these scores maybe we can transform them to a value between 0 and 1 it depends on uh, the application really depends on us as well so it's only a matter of convenience here the example will make sense hopefully. Now, the, the score that generates the greatest vertical separability between the functions is considered the threshold value for accepting or rejecting an application. Let, we don't need actually credit, uh, let's say an application in general, so any application, maybe credit, app, credit application, university application or anything like that. So notice we plot the cumulative distribution of the two classifications, the target and non-target, positive or negative as we said, and then what we want is we want the score that generates the greatest vertical separability, so the greatest vertical distance between the plots of the two distributions functions of the target and non-target. Now the model producing the greatest amount of separability between the two distributions would be considered the superior model. Again, just to reiterate, we want to plot the cumulative distribution functions of the two classes or two classifications, the target and non-target, and then uh, we, 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 of course we plot them against the score and then we want to find where we have the greatest vertical separability between the two functions. Now let's take an example for things to make sense. Now the following example for example shows uh, some results from a classification model. What the model does is it assigns a score between 0 and 1000 to each positive or negative outcome so to each target and non-target outcome and let's have a look at the table here I hope you can see it now we have a score range here and the range is split because it's between 0 and 1000 it's split over 10 intervals 0 to 100 100 to 200 200 to 300 so on and so forth, and so on and so forth until 800 to 900 900 to 1000 and now we have counts for both positive and negative or for the target and non-target in that range between 0 and 100 we have 3 positive and 62 negative so 3 targeted and 62 non-targeted yes and then in the range between 100 and 200 we have 0 target and 23 non-target so 
0 positive 23 non positive and we continue with these counts and uh, to cover all the <coughs> the ranges of the scores now what we do is we compute cumulative counts yes for both target and non target and then what we do is we plot these this ks here i'll show you what it means but we plot these both the target for the target and for the non target against the uh against the score range if you have a look at this plot here we have the score range as the x axis and we have the count percentage which is the cumulative count as the y axis and then we plot them so for 0 and 100 and notice here the target the blue is the target and the red is the non target so what we have here is in the range in the score range between 0 and 100 if you look at the values here between we have 0.5% for the target 0.8% for the non target so they are very close and then between 100 and 200 we have uh, 0.5 and 1.1 and then as the as we move through the intervals for the score we can see the difference here so for example at interval 300 and 400 we have 2 for target and 7.7 percent for non-target so between 300 and 400 2 for target which is blue and 7.7 for the non-target and then we continue covering all the uh, intervals and notice now we said the greatest uh, we want to find the greatest vertical distance between the two distributions for the target and non-target for the positive and negative and you notice now the greatest vertical distance is actually here corresponding to the interval or the score between 400 and 500 as you can see here we have the greatest separation here between uh, 4 and 500 notice we are concerned about the vertical separation between the two between the target and the non-target the blue and the red one so to interpret this so we build this table and then that's how we draw the graph but now to interpret this diagram or this chart uh, basically the greatest separability between the two distribution functions occurs at a score of approximately between 4 and 500 as you can see here Scope. this is the greatest vertical separability the, great separ uh, se the greatest vertical distance between the two curves uh, and if you notice now the cumulative uh, values for both the target and non-target for the target is about 34 percent as you can see here and for the non-target it's about 81.7 percent so non-target 81.7 percent uh, target 34.3 percent now using this score this is how to interpret it now if all applicants who scored above between 4 and 500 were accepted and all applicants applicants scoring below 4 and 500 were rejected then approximately 34.3 percent of all target target applicants would be accepted and 81 percent 81.7 percent of all non-target applicants would be uh, accepted which is not great so 34 percent of the targeted will be accepted and 81 percent 81.7 percent of the non-target will be accepted that's not great but j this is just how to you actually uh, interpret this diagram or this uh, chart now the measure of separability or the KS test result would be 47.3 which is the difference between these two the difference between these two is the value or the KS result so it would be 81.7 minus 34.3 or you can say the absolute value of 34.3 minus 81.7 I hope this makes sense this is how you interpret it you will always want to find the greatest vertical distance and then you find the cumulative uh, counts from the y-axis and then you interpret it as we mentioned here and you get the KS result or the measure of separability by subtracting the corresponding cumulative counts from the target and non-target thanks very much again I'm going to stop here and I'll see you in my next video